Good morning, Floss Tube. Okay, look. Ooh. <laughs> um, last night during my chapter, my um the Fort Worth chapter of the Embroiders Guild of America, every Wednesday we have a Zoom session called Whip Wednesday. So of course my stitchy sisters in my chapter were giving me a ribbing about um the Ottoman and all the whips I have going on. But that's okay. We do that to each other. Um, and during our Whip Wednesday session, I went ahead and organized the clutter and the crap and, and decluttered the things that were on the ottoman. So this is what's left over. And um, before I take it off, I'll just kind of take you through it because this ottoman... Um, yeah, I use it to, you know, set things on. I, I can't help it. I wish I was one of those people who had a, a clutter-free surface everywhere in my home, but I do not. So, uh, but there is a method to some of this madness. So, um, anyway, this is fabulous. Look at this. I don't know if any of you have ever had Jaffa cakes before. It's a British thing. It's a cookie cake sort of thing with the orange filling. And a friend sent this to me. And yes, it was full of Jaffa cakes and they were fabulous. Uh, but, you know, I can't throw a unique tin away like this. So I actually use this to hold all of my gold work pretties. The different fibers and things that I use to play around with gold work. Like, look at this bright check pearl. It's copper. So anyway... Um, and I apologize for my voice. I still have a little COVID in my throat. So there's that. Now these over here, these these are pin cushions and they're adorable, right? They're so cute. Look. Look at the little cup of tea. Isn't that cute? If I remember, I will put the link to her shop, uh, her Etsy shop in um, the comments on this video. But isn't that the cutest thing? Look, and if you turn the, the tea over... There's a little heart. And I couldn't make up my mind between, well, first I got this blue one. And then I saw this one. And I love mint green. I love light blue or turquoise is my favorite, but this also so pretty. So I got both of them. Uh, but um, this is made out of wool felt. And Rebel the cat loves anything that has wool in it. She's very attracted to it. So she stole this. And she raced around the house in the middle of the night. My mother-in-law thought she had a cat toy, but in fact, she had my pincushion. So in order to keep these cute little pincushions, oops, sorry, safe, I keep them under a freaking glass dome because I have cats. Um, this planner, this is the 2023 planner by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. And Fat Quarter Shop sent this to me for free. And I'm going to use this to organize and, and sort of journal my way through the Ottoman of Many Whips and all the other whips. So here's the thing with this Ottoman. Um, it was full of projects, of what I thought was projects until I opened it last night. But I'll explain. Um, <clears throat> there are also two huge bins, two large needlepoint canvases, and a crap load of other project bags in the guest room right now. I've, I've shared a picture of it on my Hot Mess Princess Facebook space uh, that also have to be counted towards the Ottoman of Many Whips because for, you know, a long time, this Ottoman was covered up and I couldn't get in or out of it because I had all this crap on top of it. And so I just kept going with the projects and didn't realize how crazy I really was with all the projects. So, um, yeah. So, um, okay, this used to have uh, biscuits or cookies, if you're American, um, from London. But now, now it holds all my needles. I love this tin. I just think it's such a pretty design. So, of course, I can't get it back on together. There we go. Okay. And then I have this tray here that just sort of holds all my stuff. So, one of the things I've been finding since I have been decluttering is all my scissors. 
<clears throat> so I have a bunch, I have a lot more scissors, but these are all the scissors I have found except for these two. These two are very bougie scissors and I never lose them because they're extremely expensive. Um, and that would just be highly irresponsible. So these are Sajus and um, I, I never lose them. But the rest of these scissors are scissors that I just found. Um, oh, and then these are cool scissors. These are the 150th anniversary of the RSN. These were custom made for them. And so I bought them as a little treat for myself. Uh, so there's that. And then, um, oh, and this pin, this is Agent Carter's shield, Captain Carter, or yeah, um, from, um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, the Avengers What If, the animated series. I loved the fact that she became Captain America in the What If. And so this is a, a Captain America version of the shield with the Union Jack on it from that episode. And I'm going to make some sort of Avengers inspired embroidery with that, but I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea. Uh, the rest of this is just, you know, um, things that you normally would have hand lotion, a candle I bought in London. And of course, of course, every embroiderer has the tiny hands, right? Oops. I got them in the wrong. Yeah, there we go. I should have been talking about the Ottoman the whole time with these tiny hands. Don't you think? What is my problem? Uh, anyway, I, yeah, I, I can't explain it. I'm just a weird person. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take the clutter off the Ottoman and then we will get started going through what's in the Ottoman. And then I will be back with all that crap in the <laughs> guest room and we'll go through all of those whips as well. And last night while we were all talking in Whip Wednesday, my stitchy sisters reminded me I have more I have one more whip somewhere in this house that I still have not found. Um, and actually, before we open this, I'm going to show you one whip that's over here to the side safely. You can kind of see it right there sticking out on top of that basket. I keep it over there because it absolutely must be safe from accidentally being crushed or whatever. Um, it is a Royal School of Needlework class that I'm taking right now. And I can't mess this up for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, this is such a beautiful project. And I'm really proud of the work I've done here. Uh, but I'm obviously I'm not done yet. And so this is leather right here with a pearl stitched on top and the um, bright check. And just this is silk shading with just DMC. That's just regular DMC floss. But that blending... That's all me, baby. I'm super proud of this piece, but I had to stop stitching it in order to get some other commitments done. And so it's just on hold right now. So I'm just going to put it right over here where it cannot get hurt. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So that's project number one. Uh, and then we'll, I'm going to take all this stuff off and we'll go through the ottoman. Okay. I will be right back. Okay, everyone, it's uncovered. Shall we open it? Who's ready? By the way, I really wish that there was some other, like I would love a solid color of this, but it just wasn't available. So I, I just hate this fabric, but I'm never going to refinish it. So, okay. So as you can see, there is some room in here for, I could probably fit another between five and 10 projects in this ottoman. Uh, so when I bring the other projects in, some of them will end up, you know, being in here. Uh, so, okay. So some of these are big. Some of these are small. Let's get to it. Here comes the whip parade. Are you ready? So this is a kit I bought in London. Uh, I bought this kit at Westminster Abbey of all places, not at the Tower of London. Not sure what that's about, but, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been started. It's got a couple stitches in it, but um that um that makes me happy to see because it's a quick and easy finish. I will get this off my list fairly quickly. We also have this Lizzie Kate, the black cat, which um I've got quite a bit done. You can see some of it poking out over here. Um so that's another quick finish. 
nobody panic, okay? I am a Cowboys fan through and through. I was stitching this for a colleague at work who turned out to be a little crazy. Uh, but I have another colleague at work who's a dear friend, and she loves the Steelers. So when the Cowboys are not playing, I will work on this. But if they're playing, I will not be touching that. No, thank you. Uh, I also have a thing for Stitching Book Club. Um, they She's on Instagram, Stitching Book Club. Uh, on Etsy, she is Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. And she just has the sweetest stitch alongs. This is not what it ultimately looks like. This is just the first step. And typically when I do a stitch along, I get all excited and I kit it all up and then I poop out. So this is just part one that I printed out. And then I have the rest of the pattern saved in my stuff, but um, I never printed it out. Uh, it required a certain kind of Ada which I, I really, I'm sorry for you Ada lovers, but I absolutely hate Ada. It's too boxy for me. I don't like the way it looks. That's just a me thing. Um, if you show me a piece of stitching that you stitched on Ada, I'm going to love it because it's yours. Um, but for me, for me, I hate stitching on Ada. So what I did was I took her specs and I went ahead and dyed this piece of um, even weave in the right color, the chocolate brown she called it chocolate brown but um so I got I got really close and uh, I would like to finish this um and I never read the book either I'm just oh so such a slacker okay the next one and by the way yesterday I found a bunch of whips in here well I found a few whips that I do not want to continue so they got tossed and then I also found some things that were kitted up but not started. So that's not a whip. So I tossed those out of the ottoman and over into the kitted section. So I ma it made me feel a little bit better. Um, I And this is Ada. See what I mean? I'll stitch on Ada if I have to. This is another stitching book club. It was the Three Musketeers. It was the mini version. And... Um, I, I like the colors very much. I love it all. I did try to read the book. I really hated it. Alexander Dumas can go on for like three pages about a horse's ass. Literally the like the flanks of a horse. Like I just can't read him. I can't do it. Okay, another stitching book club. This one is Pride and Prejudice. Are you sensing a theme here? I love the colors of this piece. That's what I have done. And I, I ultimately do want to finish this because I love Pride and Prejudice. So I will ultimately finish this. This is another quick finish. This is a little baby sampler that I got at Betsy Ross House in Philadelphia, which is a really cool place to visit. And I highly recommend it. I got that much done. But I'll get that done pretty quick. And then uh, this is Summer Poppies, a little free cross-stitch card I got with one of those UK cross stitch magazines. Um, so I'm going to get that done. Another Lizzie Kate. Tis the season to be jolly. Started working on that a little bit. Okay. And then this is another stitching book club. And this one is Sense and Sensibility. And I did get quite a bit done on Sense and Sensibility. Um, that's such a such a wonderful story. I mean, I know some people say Jane Austen's stories are all the same, and I understand that, but I just think they're pure of heart. Okay, this one, I started stitching this for my niece when she was like two, and she is now 13. Uh, I believe it says, come to the dark side, we have cookies, or I find your lack of faith disturbing. I can't remember, but it's a, a little cute Darth Vader as cute as, um, you know, mass murderer could be. Um, this is going in the guest room. Best friends forever. Aren't they cute? So I have quite a bit of it done. I think the roll of toilet paper is almost done. This is a pre-pandemic thing that just made me laugh my butt off and I had to do it and it got lost in all my whips. So, uh, that's another one. This guy, I think this is a Brenda Gervais. Hands-on design. No, the th uh, needle and thread. Oh, within thy needle, with thy needle and thread. That's who did did this. Look at the bunny. Isn't he cute? So that's this one. 
definitely will get that done. Um, I followed her suggestion in the pattern and I bought the called for fabric, but then I, I dyed it with a bottle of Merlot from Target. I'm not a wine drinker, so I just bought one of those little single box points. Uh, this is another one that'll be a quick fin finish. Happiness is having pizza with you. I think I'm just going to, um, frame it and, you know, put it in the kitchen somewhere. But I just thought that was so adorable. And it does have the knife and fork little charms. And another one that'll be quick to finish. Simplicity by Little House Needleworks. And... Pineberry Lane, the Strawberry Queen. I don't think... Oh, yeah, look. That's how much I have done. Um, yeah, I think she's, uh, she's charming and cute. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, at this point, I'm just like, oh, my God, is the bottom of the ottoman ever going to... <laughs> Am I ever going to see it? Holy crap. This was... This is a... Um, I'm working on this guy. From, you know, one of the Halloween epi or episodes, <laughs> issues of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And I actually have quite a bit of it done. So this should be relatively easy to get done. I'm feeling pretty good about some of the whips in this ottoman because they're not all gigantic projects. This one is so freaking cute. I loved this as soon as I saw it at the Stitchage. Um, it's called My Lady at Christmas, and she's holding a little picture frame on an actual ribbon in this. And I just think it's so charming and cute. Um, <laughs> this is um, September, and I think I started this in like 2017, and I was going to do every single month. Still working on September four years later. Is it four years? No, five? I, it's math. I don't care. <clears throat> Margaret Sherry, this adorable little cat. So, um, I don't think I have many stitches done on her. And then I just love this poem so much. I'm the queen of stitch a lot, reigning o'er my kingdom. Bunch a stash. I stash. I stitch. I stitch. I stash. Happy with my stitch. Stash. Cash. Who wouldn't want that? How cute is that? So, I don't remember. I don't know how much I've gotten done. Probably not much. Oh, this is one of my favorites. And you see how much I've gotten done. <laughs> um, this is the Unicorn Tapestry by Tiny Modernist. I love this fabric. I love the color. It's so pretty. Okay, this, sadly, this always reminds me of the pandemic. This is um, May Health and Peace Attend Your Days. It was the first stitch along that my local needle workshop, the Stitch Niche, decided to um, host. And then COVID came. Like, literally, our first meeting was January of the year that shall not be named. And then we got hit with a pandemic. Uh, love this one, Scarlet House. It says, they come to feast and she feeds them well. Who loves it more? It's hard to tell. And I love the birds. I can't have a bird feeder right now because I have squirrels trying to break into my house. But um, I love I love all of that. Oops, I got thread hanging out of here. That's not good when you have tiny little furry demons running around the house. Um, okay, this is Be Jolly by Candy Cane Lane. Isn't that cute? And I have the Be Jolly done, I think. Well, some of it. So there's that. And then this is always a happy thing. This is Women of the Mayflower. Um, I don't know if you guys stitched that when it came out. Let me see. Is there a picture of it? Yeah. Women of the Mayflower. And all the women are listed. And I sort of paused because there were somebody had the amazing idea to stitch the if they were related to one of those women they stitched that woman's name in a different color floss and I thought oh I love that idea I absolutely need to check my genealogy and see if I'm related to any of these people and I'm related to like one of the men but very distantly like cousin like three times removed or something well actually removed his generation so it'd be a lot more than that but um yeah, I'm cousin. I'm not a direct descendant, which is like, pfft, I don't care. Um, 
so I, I don't have to do that to any of the women's, um, names, but then that set me down a genealogy rabbit hole where I found a bunch of Royal Scottish nobles and Kings in my direct, like I'm directly descended from all these Kings of, of Scotland. It was pretty fun. This, I don't have a picture of, and as you can see, I have started it and I will not be finishing it anytime soon. It is a black work design of the, um, the city of London, uh, that I bought this kit from the Royal School of Needleworks shop at Hampton Court Palace thinking, oh, black work. Yeah, I could do that. Um, yeah, not without a lesson. I can't, I can't, I don't really understand it. So, um, that's just going to sit there for a while in a timeout because I don't have time. This is <coughs> one of those, I don't know what I was thinking projects. This is going to take me forever to get done. Uh, let me find the picture because I just took it out last night. Where are you at? Uh, I loved the TV show Game of Thrones. No, I do not accept season eight as my own. I'm still pissed off about it. But uh, Daenerys, this cross stitch of Daenerys, I just thought was freaking fabulous. And um, it's huge and it's got like 88 colors. It's not a hade, but it's made like one. And um, I, don't, I don't have the time, babies. Okay. Uh, this guy. Oh, I think I know. Yes. Okay. So I've already stitched Lady of the Flag one time, but no, that was not enough for me. Um, I was halfway through the original Lady of the Flag when I discovered that there was this Constitution fabric. And I really wanted her stitched on the Constitution fabric. I, I thought, should I really stitch her again? You know, um, so what I did was I decided I would do the green variation you know the, her dress makes her look like the Statue of Liberty so this is that fabric which is fabulous but I also like when I started it I just started I did a center start but I need to check and see like is I want the flagpole to come up like I want I want we the people to be able to be seen so I need to just make sure like did I start her in the right place? Do I need to rip those out? Blah, blah, blah. But because I already have a finished and beautifully framed Lady of the Flag hanging in my hallway, I'm not so sure how quickly I'm going to want to get to that because I've done it. I've already done it. All right. What's this one? We're starting to be able to see close to the bottom of the ottoman. Oh, one of my favorite. This is probably my favorite whip, you guys. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy freaking hollow. And for those of you who have followed my floss tube for a while, you know that I put the first stitch in this piece in a very special place. I was actually standing on Headless Horseman Bridge in Sleepy Hollow when I put the first stitch into this. So this is where I am right now. And I love him so much. I love him. Uh but I do need I need I do need to get it done. I think I would like to put the last stitch in him while standing on Headless Horseman Bridge. So maybe I will make that a goal for next year and in October you'll find me in Sleepy Hollow because I've always actually wanted to go uh, during, you know, the Halloween season because the town just looks so beautiful, I've heard. Um, okay. This is Pretty Little Hawaii by Satsuma Street. And yes, I did actually put the first stitch in this while sitting on the beach in Lahui, Kauai, my favorite island. Um, okay, over here. I'm not sure. I'm really going to have to motivate myself to get this done. This is... A pillow. Come here. Come on. It's a Van Gogh Starry Night pillow. But the pillow, the the first of all, it's eight up. Um, and it's already stitched into the pillow form, so you can't put it in a Q snap or anything like that, which drives me nuts. You have to hold it in hand, which makes me cramp up. But I bought it in Amsterdam and. Um, 
it's, you know, it's sentimental. So I will probably finish it, but I'm really going to have to talk myself into it. This is, I think, Pumpkin Hollow Farms. Yeah. Pumpkin Hollow Farms. I don't think I have much done on that. Um, you know, a little bit. But it will be finished. I will be finishing that. And then... Ugh. Oh, this, oh, so pretty. I love this guy. This is a Dimensions, well, originally it was a Dimensions kit, but what I do when I get a Dimensions kit is I give the Ada to a friend who wants it, and then I toss the fibers. Um, there's a website, there's a blog somewhere on the internet. I always just search for it, uh, for Dimensions to DMC conversion. And then I go through and figure out what DMC colors I need. Because I hate the fibers that they give you. So these are all DMC um, fibers. And this is a really pretty linen that I bought at the Stitch Niche for it. And um, that will definitely... I'm definitely going to do this one. However, this cat on the stairs, I'm going to put him in the house with uh, with the other cat. Probably in another window. Because uh, that's, a, that's a black cat. And he should be in the house where he can't be hurt by scary people who don't like black cats. It bothers me every time I see that kitty standing outside like that. Like, bring that baby in the house. Um, okay. This is a Just Nan. This is one of my oldest whips. And I just think it's so cute. And back then, when I bought this, like, look, I bought this at Needlepoints Limited. When I lived in California, for God's sake. That's how long ago this was. I've lived in Texas since 2006. Um, but when, when this came out, this kind of fabric was new, like, oh, wow, really cool. And so I just had to do it and, um, it's been sitting there for quite a while. This is my oldest whip, the oldest whip, uh, happy ending. <laughs> hey baby, you and me, happy ending meant to be. It's got different stitches in addition to cross stitches and... It doesn't even go with anything in this house anymore, but I am going to finish it because it's the principle of the thing, right? I have to finish it. It's my oldest whip. It will be done. That's just what's going to happen. So it's not going to be done anytime soon, but it will be done. Oops. Now I'm fighting with this Ziploc bag. Ah! Okay. I also need to go through all the empty project bags I found and put these, get rid of these Ziploc bags. And this is Sarah Ann Banton, which is a reproduction that was charted by Cozy Egg Designs, my friend Michelle, a very lovely stitcher. So, um, a really big, cool sampler. Um, I have it all kitted up in here with a bag that was made for me by my friend Sue. And um, I will finish it, but that's going to not be worked on for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and toss these all back in here. Let's go fill up the ottoman of many whips. Um, I'm going to toss these guys back in. And then I'm going to go get, God help me, all those other pieces that are in the guest room and we will go over those and then um, I'm going to catalog them all and I'll put them up on the blog so that we have a, a way to look at them all because hey oops sorry I'm moving the camera there's that do I have everything you guys did I get all of them here's lady the flag go back in there Yep, okay, so I'll be right back with the rest of the whips. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> this is part of the whips <coughs> from the guest room. They all go down here. There's a big pile here, and there's two bags right here. And there are still two boxes in the guest room to go through. So let's have at it. Uh, this first one down here... Looks like a Christmas ornament. Yes, it's uh, from, yeah, it's this, plenty. Whoops, 
from uh, Just Cross Stitch. Whoa, see what I mean? They're just, the whips are trying to kill me, you guys. Um, so that's another small, which is good. And then down here, I also have this really cute London, I think this is by, uh, yeah, Garon. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, this is an EGA project. It's a needle book and stuff, and um, I'm not even going to pull that out. It started confusing the crap out of me, so I need my stitchy sisters in EGA to help me with that. And then this guy is um, a really amazing project. I don't think there's a picture of it. There might be. I want to be careful not to show the chart. Um, it is called, oh my gosh, I forget what it's called. It's by Fabi Riley. There it is. The Zoe box. It's so cute. Uh, so yes, I still have a lot of stitching to do on this, but oh my gosh, it's the most adorable three dimensional project. All right, let's see what's in this guy. Oh, this is just felt. This isn't a project. It got um, lumped in the wrong thing. Thank God. Okay. Um, this. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is the um, fiber pack for a project that's on stretcher bars out in the living room. It's from a, a class I took at EGA Region Seminar in June in Louisiana probably never going to get through this damn thing because it's, but it's a beautiful piece called a toast to Tiffany. I really, really love the piece, but boy, it's a lot of work. So, um, that whip is not here, but I am counting it in the whips because it is a whip. And then this is, uh, a beading class that I took at EGA national in New York. I don't know if you can see or not. There are beads stitched here. It's a Japanese beading technique. And um, I love this class. The teacher is amazing. This is called a coma. It helps you to string beads along and stuff. It's really pretty. And I absolutely love it. It's a fairly small project. I should be able to get it done pretty quickly. Um, okay. What, it, what is this? Oh. The Devil's Floss. This is a... <laughs> This is a Bothy Threads piece. Let me see if there's a picture of it in here. It's called Love Spring, and it's a really cute tree with all these hearts growing on it. Why can't I? Hello? Oh, because it's not open, that's why. Or it's not closed. Um, it's a really cute tree. It's mostly cross-stitched. Is there a picture of it in here? Come on, Bothy. Oh, yes, there is. So it's this guy. Isn't that sweet and charming? And there's all these cute little charms and beads on it as well that make it sparkle, which are really cute. However, the tree trunk and branches are that DMC metallic devil sloss crap that's just so frustrating to stitch with. Uh, this, oh, this is a bookmark designed by a Ukrainian designer. Um, and I love it. It's so brilliant and gorgeous, right? But I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to finish it as a bookmark because it's almost done too. see. Blah. Um, I'm not going to be able to finish it as a bookmark because, uh, I, I'm going to run out of fabric. But I'm going to go as far as I can and just deal with it. And then it was going to be a gift. I, I'm not going to gift it like that. It'll be my bookmark. I'm not I'm not going to quit on that. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. This is Just Nan, Queen of the Needle Mouse. <clears throat> I love her ma mice. They're so cute. Look at that. She has a little crown. How could I not stitch her? And then... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my God, the COVID. Cut it out. You also have this little base that you stitch. And the, there's a little poem and it says, I am queen of the needle, boss of the floss. I forget what else she says. But I have the pattern for that as well. So I'm going to stitch that for her. 
And no doubt we'll have to keep that underneath the um, glass dome with my pin cushions because Rebel <coughs> will not be able to resist that kind of a mouse. This. Oh, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is a class I took in 2021 from the Royal School of Needlework. It is um, a Flying Flame um, or new a <clears throat> kit. So or new a embroidery <clears throat> is when you have all this gold, um, metal thread stitched down, but you use colored floss like DMC to shade it. So these red areas and stuff, and here it goes a little green here. It goes a little green. That's just DMC floss being stitched over the shiny gold work. And that's a technique called or new a that I learned from the Royal School of Needlework. So this is the dragon. Um, and it, it looks like a bit of a, a train wreck right now because when you're doing this kind of work, you have to curl up and tape things to the side and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this is something I would like to finish this year because why not? Look at how gorgeous he is. He's so pretty. So, um, yeah, I need to... I need to get cranking on this. This was a fun class. I really enjoyed taking class from Helen McCook. And uh, I definitely want to get that done. <clears throat> All right, what is this? Oh, this is my EGA needle book. Um, ah, they made a, a pattern of a cute little needle book with the new logo on it. And I really want to do that. And uh, I've stitched quite a bit of it. <clears throat> I just need to, I need to stitch the back of it, you know, with my name and chapter and everything on it. And then my friend Deborah will help me put it together. Uh, this is the Stitch Along project from the EGA Stitch Along Facebook group. My friend Timothy designed this. He is Stitching Steward on Facebook. And uh, it's, you know, in support of being an ally to LGBTQ plus people. And, um... Yeah, I love I love it. And I love that he designed it. So I need to finish this and frame it. <clears throat> He's a good guy. Oh, is this a kit and not um, something that's stitched? Because look, I just see fibers and oh, it is, you guys, I can eliminate this. I don't even know what the F this is for, but there's no pattern in here. It's just fabric and fibers. So that is not a whip. I eliminated one. And what is this? Oh, this is There's Always Time for Tea by Country Cottage Needleworks. Now, let's make sure that I've actually put a stitch in this because it looked like, oh, maybe I have. It looked like this fabric was still in the package. But, hey, there's no stitch in this, I don't think. Is there no stitch? Ah, this is not a whip. It's a kit. Another one bites the dust. It's a kit. Okay, what's this? Oh, I think I've started this. Remember when the pandemic started and all the designers were coming out with stuff to do, right? And this is Project Quarantine, Stay Home and Stitch. And I did start that. So we will be finishing it. Because I think it's important to immortalize that. As hard as that was. And this is, let's see. Oh. <laughs> By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't think I've started this, though. Look, it's just fabric. And there's no, yeah, there's no start and there's no fibers in here. So, again, this is a half ass kit. And it's not in my whips. We will not be counting that. What are you? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> A Jim Shore, Sophie the Sheep. Who She's really cute, and I love Jim Shore stuff. This is my friend Jean showing me cute shit I shouldn't be stitching. This is on paper. This is paper. So, anyway, yeah, so cute. I think I have the cow and the pig as well somewhere in here. I'm not sure if they've stopped, been started or not. 
If they have not, you will not see them. What is this? Oh, my Christmas embroidery. Yay, I found it. Isn't it pretty? Christmas embroidery project. Um, and I love, okay, can we just take a moment to love on this needle minder? It's a pink dragon. Isn't she pretty? So, um, yeah, I'm glad I found that actually. Um, I would like to finish that. Maybe I can finish that this year. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, oh, cute project bag. I think my friend Debbie made this. Isn't she cute? Look at that queen bee. Oh yeah. Okay. This is, oh, Oh, finally I found the damn thing. Okay, so first of all, my niece Grace is a badass, and she loves Loki, and she passed her black belt test, and I had been working on this for her. Um, I might still finish it, actually. I wasn't going to, and now I'm looking at it thinking, no, it's almost done. I should really just finish it. Um, I know the head looks a little lopsided and stuff, but who cares? She won't notice. But this, I designed this. And as you can see, it's almost finished and I could not find it forever. And now I have found it so I can finish it, print the pattern, take it to the stitch niche, say, hey, can you please, would you like to buy this so people will buy it? Because um, I love it. Love it, love it. But that's my design. So I'm going to also put that aside so I remember where that is. This, oh yes, I have to get this done this year. Second time I've stitched this. The first one I stitched it for myself and I have it hanging on the wall behind me. This is Afternoon in London by, I think, Little House Needleworks. Afternoon in London. And I'm stitching it for my friend Mel, who has probably given up on the fact that I'm ever going to give it to her, but I am. And, um, yeah, she's my buddy. She works for American Airlines as well. And um, she wanted one, so I am going to stitch that for her. This, oh, love it. This is a pretty easy stitch, pretty simple. This is on perforated paper, which is a new-ish thing for me. But it's just very simpler, simple sampler stitcher by Lucy Beam. Uh, who is a member of our chapter, too. Um, so really cool looking paper and I just love her designs. She designs the coolest stuff. So, uh, that I hopefully will be able to finish this year. Oh, this I definitely will finish. This is an Oort container. Uh, that my friend Sherry designed. Um, for one of our little stitch away retreats, that's one of, that's the free kit that everybody got, which was really cool. So that I can finish this year for sure. This, okay, this is, uh, the piece is not in here, but this is, a a cruel work piece that I, I took this class in 2021 from the Royal School of Needlework. I love Kate Barlow's designs. Um, this is really cozy, cute piece. However, this class taught me that I'm allergic to wool in a fashion, sort of like I, I, yeah, it makes my eyes itch and stuff, especially the act of pulling the wool fiber through the fabric, you know, and it kind of gets in the air. So my throat gets scratchy and stuff. So when I work on this, I actually wear a face mask like you would, you know, during, you know, COVID times and a face shield like those plastic things to keep the fibers from, you know, getting all up in my face. Uh, oh yeah, this embroidery postcard. I bought this kit at the Royal School of Needleworks shop at Hampton Court Palace. And I, it's just so cute. And I've done quite a bit of work on it. Okay, sorry. We had to have a little um, a change of scenery. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, also I'm having knee trouble, so I, um, have my leg up on the ottoman of many whips, but let's continue. We left off with the Hampton Court Palace piece and this, gosh, I don't even know what this is. Let's see. 
this whip. Whoa, did that just happen? It did. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. My gosh, I love this one. This is Plum Street Samplers. The end crowneth the work. And I, anything, I love anything to do with Queen Elizabeth the first or second. Rest in peace. So, um, yeah, cute whip and a relatively small one. So maybe I can get that done this year. Although, am I not saying that about every damn thing? Um, oh, this is where it ended up. This is a needle roll workshop that I took from, uh, at an EGA event that we had in our chapter. We have a members only retreat once a year. That is so fun. And this is the needle roll and, um, it's made of wool felt and, um, <clears throat> Again, with the allergies, so, but I can still finish it. And then this, oh, this is Gentleman's Daughter, isn't it? I love this. It's a Jane Austen quote. Oh, hello. We're sticking to the, there we go. Uh, yes, he is a gentleman and I am a gentleman's daughter. So far, we are equal. Love it. Um, I've got quite a bit done on that. <clears throat> And it's tiny count, too. It's hard for me to see it, but that's okay. Oh, this is my embroidery that, you know. Oh, gosh, my camera is just going to freak out. Okay. Uh, this is an embroidery. And I have been working on it for far too long. I think I've been working on this since 2000, well, the year that shall not be named. Um <clears throat> It's all French knots and spiderweb roses. Isn't it cool? It's going to be so awesome. The white lettering of underground, are, that's going to be just satin stitch. But the rest of it is all that funky, chunky stuff. It's going to be really cool. <clears throat> I have to kind of take that with a grain of salt, though, because it cramps my hands after a while. Okay, and then this... Oh, this is Her Majesty. I think I showed you guys the kit. But this is the actual piece. This is all black work right here. And then this is surface embroidery, surface embroidery. This is uh, metallic DMC, but there will be beads uh, dropped into it. I love this piece. Definitely high on my list of things to complete. All right, I'm going to take a very quick little pause so I can grab the next pile of whips because, yeah, there's two more boxes. So hang on just a sec. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So um, I'm going to, oh, gosh, I don't even have a picture of this in here. Odd. Okay, that's not really a whip then. All right, let's see this. Okay. This is a Just Nan Christmas mouse. You can see how much I have done. Her little Christmas mice are so cute. So there's that. And then this is a Stitching on Silk Gauze project. That's the amazing Cindy Scott from one of the Dallas EGA chapters taught us um it's very very tiny and um it is a huge challenge but i am going to um i'm gonna beat it i'm gonna do it let's see some of this stuff in this box is actually not whips so i am not counting it this is uh that's something with a unicorn what is that Let's see. Oh, yes. It's these little... I can't show you because I only have the pattern. And that's a no-no. But um, it is these cute little yoga unicorns. And, um, I mean, look at that. That's on the sparkly fabric. Sorry about my nails, by the way. I was experimenting with nail polish colors. So everything's all screwy. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, very cute. What else... That is not a whip because I haven't started it. 
I am loving that, by the way. I have found quite a few things. Like, for example, this was in the Ottoman. And this is not whips. This is literally every Christmas ornament that my local needle workshop, the Stitch Niche, has come out with every Christmas. And I have not started any of them, so that is not a whip. Okay, what is this? That is not a whip either. Those are patterns that I have not put away. Oh, this is good. I'm happy. And there's a recipe in there that I printed out. What a mess. All right, this... Is this even, is there anything in this? Let's see. It's an empty project bag. Ouch. Did you hear my knee pop? That's pretty horrible. Okay. This project. It's a cute little kitty. And I have started that. I've got, how much do I have done? Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So we'll be working on that. <clears throat> By the way, I will, on my blog, put a final count of all the whips that I have here. What is this? Good Lord, there's a bunch of stuff in this project bag. And some of this is not started. That's not started. That's not started. What is that? Oh, that's a project I have no interest in finishing. So we're just going to chuck that all together. What is this? Oh, yes, we're definitely, oh, we're definitely doing this one. This is Hocus Pocus by Hands On Design. How cute. I forgot about that needle minder, too. Good Lord, you shouldn't leave needle minders stuck to your work like that. I am not being a very good stitchy roll model. Okay, let's see. Uh, the, oh, yeah. Ouch. Oh, God, you guys, take care of your knees because, holy crap, this hurts. <sighs> All right, let's see. Well, these are patterns of, see, I have a problem here. More mice from Just Nan, but these are just patterns, so they aren't counting towards the whips, but this is a whip. This is the Tudor Rose bookmark, and I got that at Westminster Abbey. So I will be adding that to the whip rotation. And we are done with that for that basket of whips. So that's good. <clears throat> so we're down to one more box and one canvas that is just off to my side here. So <clears throat> this is a class I took at EGA, um, was it National? I think it was EGA, yes, EGA National in New York. It's a Scottish pin cushion. It's beading, which really confuses the F out of me. A Scottish pincushion. And this thing is 100% beading. And uh, yeah, it's a little scary. But I am going to finish it. The nice thing about being a member of EGA is I have lots of stitchy sisters in my chapter who are good at beading. So all I have to do is ask for help and I will get it. <clears throat> oh, this is cute. This is from a, I think, a Just Cross Stitch. Yes, it is from the February 2021 Just Cross Stitch. Isn't that charming and sweet? Winter stitching. Uh, oh, gosh. Hold on. Did I even start it? I didn't start it. Look, you guys, it's just the kit. So we don't have to count. This is not a whip. I refuse to acknowledge you. You are not a whip. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is my design. And uh, that's how uh, far I am on it. I can't show you because it's just the pattern, but this is Big Tex from, and if you're from Texas, Big Tex is a state fair icon. And how appropriate, this needle minder, right? I never finish anything. Oops. Uh, but yes, I, I will count him in my whips. He is one of my designs. He is very handsome. Oh, this is the pin drum kit that my friend Deborah um, had us do um, as part of a program for EGA. And how cute. It's um, basically you learn a different embroidery stitch. That's what it'll look like when it's finished. And you just, um, you stitch a new embroidery stitch over each seam. See, I did that one and 
that's wrapped stem stitch and God knows what else. But um, anyway, yeah, that is a really cool kit. And I will be counting that in my whips. That was a great idea she had. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. This is just a silly thing. This was a free kit that my friend Christine found. It's a unicorn. It's actually meant for kids. We'll go ahead and count it because why the hell not? <clears throat> oh, yes. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Er, er, er. Why do I have projects in any Ziploc bags when I have so many unused? <sighs> the Stitch Goddess by Tiny Modernist. Isn't she gorgeous? And this is actually on the called for fabric. And that's all I have. That's all I have done. But um, she's got this really cool unicorn needle minder. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm not even going to try to get that back in the bag. I'm going to put it in a nice project bag. Let's see what this one is. The, oh, oh, I think maybe we don't have, uh, this isn't a whip. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, wait, maybe it is. Ooh, I think I started this. I got like one that's ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> oh, so it's a whip because I did one effing stitch. Damn it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know what that is. I'm not going to flip through the magazine to find it for you. It's from a Halloween and it's, um, I don't think I will be able to find it. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah. Page 98. Look at that. I forgot they have their little cool thing on the back that shows you where everything is. Uh, hold on, I'll show it to you guys. It is really cool. That's it. Ugh, wow, I really have to go back. There, potions, brews, and spells. That's what it is. And I love it so much. So it's a whip because there's one freaking stitch. Oh, that's not a whip. That's just, this is a kitted up thing that a friend gave me. So that's not a whip. Ooh, all of this stuff is not whips. Look, I'm looking in a box. Yay. It's not whips. That's not, a, oh, this is, wait, I have that. Oh, this is a whip. Okay, so we'll pull that out. Still cleaning the needle. That is not a whip yet. That's a kit. That's a kit. Kit, kit, kit. Haven't started, haven't started. Did I start this? Oh, I did. I started this. Okay, hold on. What else? Hey, there's Sense and Sensibility. A drum and... Okay, so none of these are... Whips. Those are all kits. I already showed you guys Sense and Sensibility. I just found the... Um, finishing stuff for it. This is Votes for Women. And I did start this. I can see. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculous. Like five stitches. So that is a whip. And then remember I showed you that Just Nan Pink Mouse Queen of the Needle? This is the little box that she sits on. But I have not started that yet, so that is not a whip. This is Flag of Stars by Bent Creek. And I, I'm, I've i got a lot done on that, so that is definitely a whip. And then my... Let's see, I have two more whips, actually. And this one, I don't even know if I'll be able to get this on camera. This sucker is huge. This is a painted canvas of Queen Elizabeth I, and I love her because girls do rule. But yeah, she is a uh, very expensive piece, and she is definitely a whip. And then there is an embroidery piece over here that I can't reach, and it's um, English Garden or English Summer, I think it's called. 
Um, and then those are all the whips. So today I will, <laughs> since I can't turn the camera on, I'm just going to show you my talking hands. Um, just, uh, um, I will count and catalog all of the whips today and I'll put them up on the blog at hotmessprincess.com. And then, um, we will see how many of these I get through in 2023. So, um, happy new year to everyone. I hope you celebrate safely and sanely tonight and, um, have a wonderful, wonderful 2023. I will check in with you very soon. Thanks.